Okay. Uh, so then the other form is the general form PDE. Uh, this is also a template, and the template is this first equation. So it's it's uh, shorter, it has fewer terms, but it's more general. Basically, what you specify here is uh, E, uh, D, uh, and gamma, uppercase gamma, and the source term, and then. Uh, the same templates, you have templates for uh, boundary conditions. So let's see uh, how this will fit. If you compare, for example, the, co the general form template and the uh, coefficient form uh, template, uh, the coefficient form, if you have a source term, I mean, an absorption term like AU, for example, there isn't really a way to put that term in the general form. Right, but what can you do? You can always move it to the source term. The source term can take anything. You can put, you can write anything. Anything that didn't fit in the template, you can fit it uh, into uh, uh, the source term. But either of these two templates, uh, you can use them. But then in the weak form, what uh, you get is nothing. You get blank, and you have to directly specify your weak form. So here. Uh, you are getting more, uh, basically you are removing the training wheels uh, in terms of how much control you have. But then of course when you are working with the whip form, you need to be familiar, uh, you need to be comfortable with uh, um, first taking the strong form, deriving it into a whip form. But you get extreme flexibility. Since there is no template, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but then also that power comes with like extra work. So you can, uh, I should probably skip this slide. You have uh, seen this, right? You start with strong form. Uh, if the strong form was zero, you can multiply it by any uh, weighting function. And it should be zero everywhere. If you integrated it, it should be zero for any weighting function. Of course, uh, you pick uh, the space of the weighting and the solution. Uh, but uh, skipping that part for now, then you can use um, uh, integration uh, by parts, uh, Gauss uh, divergence theorem to move this to the boundary, and um, that's uh, what you will have for the weak form. The only thing is now, how do I specify the Ws in when you are specifying now when you are typing? So far, we were typing quantities in terms of the dependent variables. Uh, uh, so saying u if you are solving for u, or p if you are solving for t. But now here, you have a second variable. And the way you specify in console is if you call the variable u, then when you want to access the weighting function associated with that equation, you're going to say test of u. So, or if your independent variable was m, then for w, you will write test m. So the test operator basically says, I am taking the weighting function associated with this uh, primary uh, variable. Uh, there is a, a blog article, if you are interested in this, uh, that uh, explains in detail uh, how to implement uh, uh, weak forms. But you basically have a choice between weak form, strong form, and um, for the strong form, you can have the coefficient form, the general form, and other forms as well. Like, like for example, you can do the classical PDE interfaces for things like Laplace equation, which are uh, commonly encountered. 